All right, we're on, we're live. All right, the <laughs> thumbnail kinds of gives it away. We bought a new caravan and uh, um, I wanted to talk to you about the process of buying a caravan in 2022 because um, it, it's, um, the landscape has changed now. You, you'll notice I've purposely framed uh, this at the moment. I'm sitting in the new caravan, but oh, if you're really clever, you might know what it is, but at the moment you can just keep guessing because I will tell you at the end what we actually bought. Because we've been shopping for oh, a year now for a new caravan and it's been kind of challenging because like we've got a Jayco Starcraft 22.68 family bunk van um, and it's been a great van, but it's time to upgrade and uh, to go and get something else, like we've been to three caravan shows this year, um, did one at uh, Dave Benson's, did one at, um, in Sydney, and did one at the Adelaide Caravan Camping Show, uh, and uh, basically to get something like like the level of our Jayco Starcraft, um, and that size, shape, all that sort of thing, it'd be 80 to 100k, and that's just to get something as good as what we've got, and to be honest, i kind of wanted something better like it ha has to be um, the ability to go off grid for a few days so decent amount of lithium batteries solar um, separate toilet shower um, you know I don't want an east-west bed I do want bunk beds uh, I'd like to have an electric awning I'd like to have a diesel heater um, I'd love to have airbag suspension and Basically, when once you start talking about all of that, you're not getting anything for under 100k anymore. Uh, like, I even wanted to look into getting a composting toilet. That seems to be the new thing these days. Um, all the vans, like where the barbecue goes in the tunnel boot, never seems to be big enough, so I wanted something that had a, a larger tunnel boot. Um, a decent size hot water service. Some of them are coming out with like a 14 litre hot water service. You can have maybe two quick showers, not a whole family's worth of showers. Um, and fans, like Sirocco fans everywhere. Weight wise, uh, I've got a, a Patrol, says you can tow through it, three and a half ton and 350 on the ball, but I don't want to run it to that red line. Um, I was going to try and keep it to around three ton. So I, I want all these features, but I want it light, which, you know, that's difficult too. Uh, and I didn't want to go more than, I wanted it to actually be significant less than 300 kilos on the ball. And because that's, I don't know, a nice place for Y62 patrols. Now, when you ask for all of those things, straight away, <laughs> um, you either get, yeah, one of these sort of cookie cutter vans that, it seems like all the vans come out of the same factory these days. Uh, I, I saw the same van. In fact, we actually bought a van not long, long ago at one of the shows um, because they said they could do it at a three month wait. Uh, it had some of the stuff but not everything on there and um, we thought I oh, will go to selections and add all that stuff on but when you get to selections and say oh, I want Sirocco fans they'll do them in their cookie, cookie cutter place they won't put them like above the bed above like your head where I wanted them. Um, they were very specific I couldn't get the composting toilet I couldn't get um, the air, well, I could get airbag suspension, but it was 8,800 bucks, um, which I think was a bit of a rip. And even to upgrade the lithium solar, I think they were having a bit of a go there. Like, it's like they didn't um, um, actually have a price list to go off. It's like, oh yeah, that sounds like, you know, 1,500 bucks. We'll just add that on for a solar panel or whatever. Um, I feel like when you go on up spec, that's when they can really get you and advertise a cheap van and get you on the on the selections. Like I, I wanted suspension that could at least get me into a campsite. It doesn't have to be full off road. In fact, I think that's a waste of weight. Um, I did want a DO35 hitch because that's a safety thing. Uh, and I know that um, when you've got an articulated hitch, just the car feels more stable because you're not carrying the burden of the the caravan on the ball so that was kind of a must so really when you're up at this spec now you're talking about vans like Sunseeker, Titanium, um, uh, Zone that was probably our favorite one because they seem to do all of this stuff have a really nice modern interior and be lightweight but two downsides one it was going to be over 150,000 which I could probably stretch to but 
that you have to wait like a year, maybe even more for those brands. Um, and it's interesting how the really good brands you have to wait for. Um, whereas the, the stuff which is, yeah, this one van I'm talking about, it had the same uh, shape to it, like the way it was made. It had the same toolbox, like identical toolbox on the front. Um, the cupboard handles, uh, the interior, the way the leather was stitched was identical in four different vans, but different brands that I just saw. One in you know Sydney, one in Adelaide, and around the place. Um, so there must be some massive factory that just like pumps out vans and said, you want a van, you want a van, you want a van, just put your sticker on it and you can be a caravan sales company as well. The problem with like ordering a zone, for example, one, I wanted something now, but you know, for that sort of money and taking, you know, a year, year and a half to make, I don't know what's going to be happening in 18 months time. Like, uh, the economy might be going fabulous and yet no problem and I sell lots of you know stuff at my work and I make enough money to afford that sort of van it might go the other way and I'm just really reserved about like committing that much money for like a year or more's time away so it kind of left us in a bit of a pickle to be honest it got to the stage where we resigned to just keeping our Jayco Starcraft like it's not a bad van just I want to update it basically but there we are um but then things uh, kind of changed, like all those interest rate hikes started coming up, um, one by one by one. Um, I was looking on caravan camping sales, and if you saw a family bunk caravan come up, it was there for like five minutes, sold. Like before you could go look at it, it was sold. People were buying them from interstate, sight unseen, just bang, gone. Because um, I was starting to think that maybe the secondhand market is worth looking at. Um, and then I was actually just scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, which I like to do, and a van popped up. It was um, a 2021 build. It presented as new. It didn't look like the family had even um, done anything with it, to be honest. And it had a heap of extras on it, like um, uh, gas heating, uh, like like the you know upgraded mattresses, um, uh, instantaneous hot water service. It was the layout. Um, that we wanted, like being a 22 foot van again, you might be starting to guess what it is. Heaps of little extra bits, like they increased the size of the tunnel boot. Um, there was a big um, a toolbox on the front. Uh, it's got a Sphere Wi-Fi set up in it. There's a bit of a giveaway. All the stuff we wanted, 224 liter compressor fridge. Like this was a really fully featured van and a very reasonable price. It was actually probably 10, at least 10 grand cheaper than what you'd buy it brand new from that manufacturer. And it was available like right now. Started talking to some friends. One ex friend actually, uh, he wanted a Lotus and rang up and he got one straight away. The particular dealer interstate was actually dumping their stock. They were getting nervous about interest rates as well. And they didn't want to be left with stock in case the caravan market went flat. It's been spoken about for ever since COVID started actually, that you know this is all gonna come down off the other end. I don't know if it's gonna come off a cliff like people were hoping and it's gonna be cheap bands everywhere, but I think the um, the urgency and, oh, dare I say, gouging of, of the caravan market is um, uh, flattening out a bit. So this might be a good time to buy a new or secondhand market. So we put the, the money down, deposit down for this um, secondhand van uh, albeit you know 18 months old um, and it's a brand that I thought I would never buy because I've already owned two of them and it's big I okay the brand is Jayco and I can probably show you around a little bit now of the van um, I went with break I went with Jayco because it's like the the evil I know opposed to the evil I don't. Like I know on Jayco stuff what's gonna break. You know, probably the handles and I keep spares of them from my old van. Um, I know the build quality, like the suspension everything is excellent, can't fault that. Cabinetry is not bad and I think they've actually improved a fair few things over the years. Um, they've just made them look better. And more and more as I started looking at this van, um, I'm going, actually, this is pretty good. Um, it's got a lithium setup. It's got, I think, 300 watts of solar. Sirocco fans, exactly where I wanted them. 
the colours, yeah, it's Jayco and it looks the same as every other Jayco, but I'm kind of living with that. Um, and they've stepped up just the bits and pieces with the, the Wi-Fi and the power, the fridge. It, it kind of made a lot of sense. I'm going to do a whole nother detailed video on the caravan for the people that um, would consider a Jayco 22.68 all-terrain. I think that's what it's called. Um, I mean, all the little features and stuff, but like they've really stepped up. Like this fridge is massive, massive freezer as well. So um, yeah, I'll do the full review on that. But yeah, turns out I own a Jayco for the third time. I got it for a good price instantly and um, the more time I spend in it the happier I am so um, yeah it was a surprise to me too all right uh, next video I'll do the review on the van so you can see it in detail and um, yeah I, I think it could be good times for people that are like cashed up ready to buy a van now at uh, like a decent price this one's out I'll see you next time on YouTube yeah yeah